Live from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, the show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Boston Red Sox taking on the New York Yankees. First pitch coming your way next. First pitch moments away and on the hill today Garrett Cole he's racked up over 2,000 strikeouts in his career he's such a competitor out in the mound so fun to watch him work I'm excited for this one ready to go and now the center fielder Jaron Duran the pitch and there's a hit so a man on base to start the inning So digging in, Rob Ref Snyder. Missed with a changeup, and that's ball one. There goes the runner. Pitch is low. Throw there. Safe. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. The that next pitch three. misses. Three balls and a strike. Duran at second with nobody out. Right hey. through there for a strike. 3-1 count. He's saying to himself, I've got to get a fastball here. Just spins a get-me-over breaking ball to bring the count full. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Boy, it becomes pretty difficult as a teammate when a guy's struggling like this. You don't know if you want to go up and tell him to keep swinging it or if you want to give him his space, what exactly he needs. But right now, it's clearly a struggle for him, and we're just hoping that somehow, some way, it'll click and he can get out of this as quickly as possible. Man at second. On the ground to third. Throw on to Rizzo. Two away. Now it's Devers at the plate. And that one clips the corner. Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. Lined in the left center, and that should be extra bases. And they strike first as they take a 1 0 lead. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. He was all over that one. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Next is the designated hitter, and Manuel Valdez. Foul ball there. Two outs. Just missed. Fouled off. He was late. Pitch. Stays alive. Man on second, two down. Foul ball still, one and two count. And here it comes. On the ground to third. Tosses across oh. the first. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Red Sox with an RBI double. It's now one nothing. Back now in the Bronx. And on the hill in this one, Cutter Crawford. And Chris, pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him. Yeah, and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch oh, on the road. Insane. Sometimes, you know, it's just a matter of luck. It's not having a feel. Difference between the bullpen mound to the mound out there on the playing field. Don't know what it is, but I know this. He's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home. So we'll see what he's able to do in this one. Here's Juan Soto. Chris, he leads the way with the best batting average on the team. Hard hit, right side. They get the out on Soto. Two outs, base is empty. Now, Aaron Judge. And that's just foul. Judge goes six feet, seven inches, 280 pounds, and he's a former home run derby champ. 
And Judge spoils that one. Two down, nobody on. That one misses. Ball, it's strikes. a ball and two strikes. That Next one missed. Two. The Yankees down by a run here in the second game of the series. On the ground. Can't field it cleanly. Not in oh, time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. He went up there and got it with two strikes. I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where he could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back and at it back. And that one is lifted in the air. Brings it in. That is the inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the start of the inning. Digging in, Vaughn Grissom. Slap the other way, foul. There's the swing and a miss. Oh, okay. Up the middle. Dives and he can't hang on. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Late swing fouled off. And the pitch. Bounce to the left side. Oh, and foul ball. Grissom gets his lead at first. Nobody out. There's a swing and a drive. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. The run scores all the way from first. It's 2 0. Well done. Drives in the run. Good pitch. Slider down and away. Just stayed down and threw it nicely. Such an easy pitch to pull off of because you're probably thinking fastball down the middle initially. Here's Reese McGuire. Out to short. Into the outfield. Base hit. Rounds third. Headed for the plate. He's safe. Early, he was ready to hit right there. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Trevor St Story comes up to the plate. On the ground, right side, and that one finds its way through. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Back to the top of the lineup. Now batting Jaron Duran. And there's a foul ball. Bunch attempt, but that goes foul. First and second, no outs. Here at the top of the second. Swung on, popped up, left side. And it falls. Headed for the plate. He'll score, and it's 4-0. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. And stepping in for Boston, Rob Ref Snyder. This one in the air right field. Soto gets under it. Drops into the glove. Runner tags and goes to third. Soto gets it back in quickly. And that forces the runner to hold on to third. So up next, Masataka Yoshida. In there at the knees. Three. Ah. Out. Number two. Third gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing... That's a base hit as a run scores. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. So now the 
DH spot in Manuel Valdez. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Well, they've been able to score four runs off of him in this inning, and this is where you want to just max out, get as much as you can, give him one of those tough innings where it's going to be hard for him to recover in the next one. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two on, two outs. Swings and misses. Inning ends, and that stops the bleeding. So nine batters come to the plate. Four of them score. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Red Sox five and the Yankees nothing. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, bottom of the second. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. Line drive. And they take care of Stanton for the out. And there's one down. Here's Jose Trevino. Ripped to third and caught. He put a really good swing on that pitch and hit the ball hard. You know, line drives won't always find a hole, but the more you can hit the ball like that with good exit below, the better off you're going to be in the one long out. run. Anthony Rizzo in now. Takes ball one off the plate. On the ground, right side. In plenty of time to first, and the Yanks go quiet. Back in the Bronx. Now it's the second baseman, Vaughn Grissom. And a foul ball. You know, these Red Sox doing a good job at the plate with runners on base, and that can be a key Aye. difference maker in the game. They put a bunch of runs on the board, thanks in large part to four hits with runners in scoring position. Aye. Swing and a miss struck him out. And next for the Red Sox, Tyler O'Neill. Going yeah. around. On top of that, they haven't All left many one. guys on base, so they've been efficient getting runners on and finding ways to bring them home. And a swing and a miss there. All two the count. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. In time for the second out. Good job to clean it up after the drop third strike. Well, when you throw the same pitch back to back, that's how you want to do it. Set him up in the strike zone, then extend a little bit from there and see if you can get him to chase. Nicely done with the slider right there. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He got it! And how about that? It's an immaculate inning! And we're back. Set for the bottom of the third. Now the third baseman, Oswaldo Cabrera. And a foul ball. Right-hander kicks, deals. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. This one high in the air to left center. On the move. Squeezes it. One away. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So the one out hit turns the lineup over. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely that. generated some good bat speed. Verdugo in the box with one away as he takes ball one. And he hits a ground ball right side, and that one finds its way through. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. And now it's Juan Soto. Grounded out his first time up. Ball Just one. missed. Late with the swing there. Let's see if he's willing to use the whole field right here. Definitely pounding him away. Two on, one out. That Aye. one's in there. And that's strike two. On the ground a second. Might be two. There's one. On to first, double play. And that's the inning. On to the fourth. And the batter will be the shortstop. Trevor Story. Right through there for a strike. Story, a former All-Star, 31 years old, a former first-round pick. 
back in 2011. Torres over to first. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Duran in the box again. Takes a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that oh. in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. To the right side, and that one handled. Gathers oh. and throws to first. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. And now here is Rob Ref Snyder. Ground ball right side. He'll do it himself, it. and it's a 1 2 3 inning. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Judge rips that one. Puts it away for the out. Labor Torres up to hit. He's 0 for 1. And that one wrapped foul. Base is empty, one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Up the middle. Oh, he gloves it. Throws from his knees. And that's a great play for the out. So many people fail to realize just how great defensively Trevor Story is, as you see on the dive right there. And I think part of it because he played on the same side of the infield as the great Nolan Arenado. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. 0 for 1 so far. Hey. And a swing and a miss. Well, he's been incredibly All efficient one. this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up to this point. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck back there. That's scoreboard it's 5-1 Chris he's homered in back-to-back -back games now yep seeing the ball well and he's got his timing locked in he's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now he got on plane with that high fastball and look how his bat stays in the zone for a long time absolutely crushed that pitch So two down, Jose Trevino now at the plate. Swings through that one out in front that time. The Red Sox leading by four here in the second game of the series. Bounced up the middle, Grissom. Throws to first, inning over. Giancarlo Stanton flexing that big time power swing. It's now 5-1. You're dialed into the show. We go to the top of the fifth. Now the left fielder, Masataka Yoshida. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. You know, these Red Sox putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. One thing is they haven't been fooled all that much. Six of their hits have come off. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. It bangs off the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch down lately. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. Battling here as he fouls it away. And that success against off-speed pitches tells me they're doing a great job of seeing the ball deep, letting the uh, ground ball, and that's through the infield. Around third. He will score, and the lead is up to five. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Tied it on the swing, was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. So, man aboard. Now it's the DH. And, oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Go! A two-run shot is 12th of the season, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 
That one just sounded different. And might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. With this pitcher's velocity, a changeup is really a break for a hitter. He got a BP fastball, didn't move a whole lot, and he absolutely tattooed it. Vaughn Grissom, the next to hit. Right through there for a strike. And that's strike two. Nobody on, nobody out. And we're at the top of the fifth. Ground ball to the right side. Rizzo Got takes him. it to the bag, and that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. O'Neill ah. now in the box. Comes up Going empty one. with a swing there. On the ground right side. Steps on He's first out. for the out. Two outs, base is empty. Reese McGuire digs in now. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That's back there. Gone. It's their second home run of the inning, and they add a run. It's 9-1. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. To see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch him from the on deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. Story up to hit for the third time as he lays off inside ball one. Swings and misses. That's strike one. Well, a really rough inning out there on the mound. And uh, this is one of those where you learn a lot about a guy's toughness and his ability to turn the page and keep pressing forward. Here's a one-two. That's a ball. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind her. And another ball. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. And this is now a 9-1 ball game. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Rizzo. Left field. Yoshida makes the catch, and there's one gone. Oswaldo Cabrera stepping in now for the Yankees. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. They've got a both the lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Got one Almost ball, one got him. Swing and a miss. One and two. One ball. On the mound, you take two a strike. note. You see the hitter's willingness to chase that pitch upstairs. Get deeper in the count. Try to climb the ladder. High in the air, out to right. O'Neill getting an angle on it. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. And the batter now, Anthony Volpe. Ground ball up the middle. Fires over to first, and the inning is over. Back here in New York, top six. Here's the center fielder, Jaron Duran. And that one fouled off. That's to third, and it goes just foul. Going two now. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that's a blue zone right there, or the cold zone on the hitting chart. Just doesn't have much success in that part of the strike zone. And a really good job of the pitcher executing. Try to go there as often as you can. The numbers are in your favor. Man at first, Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. Slider for a strike. 
Here's the strike of the knees. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go off. This ball well hit. Left center field. And that splits the gap. Around third. He scores. It's 10-1. Everything came together for him. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of the stick. Rafael Devers up to hit. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. That misses the zone. Ball one. Smoke to right center, and this one's gonna go out of here. A massive home run. It's 12-1. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Guy's got a real hard fastball. You can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. So one out, nobody on. And next is the designated hitter, Ed Manuel Valdez. And first offering is fouled off. On the inside corner for a strike. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Two outs, base is empty. Vaughn Grissom up next for the Red Sox. Hey. Fastball in for a strike, 1-1. Oh, one, one. One. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Oh, Man, this guy's got down. a great feel for his breaking ball today. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Devers goes deep for the Red Sox to the bottom of the sixth inning. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back in the Bronx, and now Alex Verdugo. The why to kick the pitch. That misses. 1-0. One one oh. well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Swing and a grounder foul for a space side. Oh one now. At and the ball. ball one. That's well, inside. That, that one fouled off two and two. And the righty deals. Aye. That one 95 to finish him off. Here is Aaron Judge, one for two. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Devers, in a second, drops it, but they're saying it was on the transfer. Well, I really like this right here. He knocked the ball down on that dive and then was able to pick it up, get it to second base, cut that lead runner off, and that's keeping a guy out of scoring position. Here is Glaber Torres. Lifted to left center. Way back there. And that is gone. That was blasted to the moon. He's up to three home runs in the series. It's 12-3. That was blasted. Absolutely. No doubt off the bat. That 
finds exactly the pitch he was looking for, crushes it, and hits it out of the ballpark. Giancarlo Stanton to the plate now. He's already homered in this game. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Count one and oh. Two outs. On the ground to Devers. Sends it across to first. And that is the inning. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. We're through six full. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back for more. New pitcher for the Yankees, Tommy Canely. And he's done a great job now, keeping hey. the ball in the park this year. The numbers no, stack no, up no, with no. some of the best in the game. Oh, hey. Wait hey, on hey, that hey. fastball. Oh, and two. Three. Got it by him for the K. Well, that slider down and away, it's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect, and halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Verdugo gets under it, corrals it. Two away down. Two outs, space is empty. Here's Trevor Story now. Center field. Judge has it sized up. And makes the grab. And that is that. Back at Yankee Stadium, bottom of the inning. And now it's going to be Jose Trevino. Inside oh, just missed. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. One up, one down. And here is Anthony Rizzo. And a base hit right there. Just kind of slice that one into center. Waste no time there. High fastball, even a little above the zone, but such a good job of staying tall on the backside. Get that barrel there to meet it just in time. I'll tell you what, it's not easy to do. Cabrera, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Duran snags it for the second out. So a man aboard next to hit Anthony Volpe. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Oh, the Yanks one. with a lot of ground to make up here at the bottom of the seven. Righty to the plate. And a swing and a miss. And that's the third out. for the Yankees, Ian Hamilton. He last pitched two days ago. And a good eye there. Now That's a really good take right there. Slider Number down and in. Very Eight. difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Hamilton. Next offering is in for a strike. And another ball. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. I guess you throw it that hard, you can get away with locations yeah. like that right down the middle. But I still think it's a dangerous pitch. Don't want to do it again. And that one upstairs. Next pitch misses. Two and two. Two ball, two strike. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Masataka Yoshida will hit next. Hey. Right through there for a strike. Comes hey. up empty. That's strike two. Two down, nobody on. 
Bounce to the right. Over to first. Red Sox go one, two, three. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now, Alex Verdugo. First pitch misses. The Red Sox with some bullpen action. Josh Winkowski getting loose out there. Bernardino also throwing. So he's back out to begin the eighth. Been a really nice outing for him so far, Singy. He's blown the ball really well. Kept hitters off balance, and he's been very efficient hey. with that pitch count. But at this point, One even ball. though it's been Two relatively three. low, you start keeping an eye on it to make sure that he doesn't have any fatigue and injuring himself. Line drive to short and caught. It's never fun going back in the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. No action in the bullpen, though. Looks like they're going to let him stay out there. One down, base is empty. Out towards left center. On his way over. He's got it, and there's two away. The center field, number 99, Aaron. Aaron. Two outs, base is empty. Aaron Judge now at the plate. One for three. Out towards right center field. O'Neal getting an angle on it. Hauls it in to end the inning. New inning. Caleb Ferguson comes on now. I think it's going to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. And a strike to Devers. The pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge, just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. Bows it off, still one and two. Packs and misses, it's a strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become different. Ah, now this ball splits the gap in right center. The throw into second, and he's got a double. Two hits for him in this one, both for extra bases. Got to feel good about that. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. And now Vaughn Grissom, and he deals. On the ground right side, collected by Torres. The throw to first, got him. Joe stepping in for Boston, Tyler O'Neill. Flips the corner, strike one. one. And that one pulled foul. Two outs. To third. Throw on to Rizzo. And the inning is over. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six, coming up. It's the Red Sox 12 and the Yankees 3. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Josh Winkowski. He has a great slider with tons of movement. And a pitch. Long drive. And that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Having a really nice game here. That's his second extra base hit. They got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pull off the baseball. Really good timing all the way through the swing, and the barrel was so on plane with the ball. Easy drive into the gap for that double. And the right-hander deals. Base hit. Coming home. Now a long throw home. It's off the mark, and he scores. Comes through with the RBI. I can watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Now the catcher up to hit, Jose Trevino. On the ground to the left. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. And that rolls into the corner. The relay in there safely. 
Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Caught it out front and ripped it down the line. And as soon as he saw it get through the infield, man, he started making that big turn towards second. For the run. Rizzo now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Swings through that one. No ball, two strikes. Left hand hitter waits. Swings and misses. Struck him out. He's two outs away. And up next for New York, Oswaldo Cabrera. On the ground to short. Story sends it over to first. Now two away as they get a run across. So they're down to their final out. And next for New York, Anthony Volpe. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Ball one, no strike. The Yankees with a lot of ground to make up. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field, Yoshida going back, and he'll put it away. Ball game, and the Red Sox even this series up in a game apiece. Well, as much action as there was in this one, really impressive performance from the bats on the winning side. They gave up quite a few runs, but they still blew them out of the water. They have to be feeling pretty good about themselves offensively right now. 12-5 is your final. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.